basement looks empty. You guys moving? No, it's clean. <laughs> Believe it or not, I cleaned it. That's why it looks kind of empty. <laughs> Hey, greetings there fellow makers. Bill here down in our shop. In fact, we are live from the shop today. That's right, we do these live streams every Tuesday, usually at like noon Pacific. If you wanna check out our Twitch channel, you can head on over there and follow us. You'll get notifications when we go live. Today on the live stream and in the shop, I'm working on this. Look at that. That is a Star-Lord helmet. In fact, my buddy Will over at WM Armory made this uh, a couple of years ago, he made it here when he was working in my shop. And this, I believe, is the first casting he ever made out of the mold. Uh, it's kind of uh, a little rough around the edges being the first casting. There's some stuff I need to fix on it. So like the back of this here is a little warped because this has been sitting on a shelf for a couple of years. So today I'm going to uh, start cleaning up this helmet here, uh, start cutting out stuff like the eyes, and preparing this for paint. So that's what's going on today. We're gonna start working on this helmet. It'll probably be a multi-part project here. So just today, we do some cleanup work. All right, let's do this. So here's the helmet, here's the kit that I have. And it is uh, all urethane cast plastic. It's a little thin in some spots. I know when Will was putting this together, he wasn't quite sure how many layers to put in. So we'll, we'll see what we can do to fix that. There are, also, uh, there are also some other parts that go on it. So like these sort of cheek tube things go on right there. And uh, I'll have to do a little bit of cleanup work and get those ready for assembly. And then there are these little tube things that connect all of that. So I'll need to figure all of that out. For the tools today, just to do some of the trimming and cleanup work, I have this rotary tool. This is a really cool looking little rotary tool, all battery powered. It does the job though. I like having this so that I can take it wherever I go. And I've got some bits for it and I'll just show off some of those in a little bit here. Uh, but some cutting tools here and some sanding tools. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. So that's what we got going on today. I'm gonna get everything started and ready to go and we'll start cleaning up this kit. So this material is fairly thin and I wanna cut out the eyes or at least get some of these holes started. So instead of using a normal twist drill bit, I'm gonna use these step bits. This is uh, designed to go through thin material and what happens is you drill it a little bit. Let's do get started here. It goes through and makes a tiny hole like that. Just a little, little hole. And as you go, as it goes up the steps, it makes the hole bigger and bigger. Whoop. Like so. And then in this particular case, what I'll do is I'll go back in with this rotary tool and I'll widen that. Now it's big enough to just barely fit that rotary tool in there. I'll widen that to its final dimension. In fact, I can do that right now. Okay, so I have my rotary tool ready to go with a sanding bit. Uh, I'm gonna put a dust mask on. This is so that I don't inhale all of this dust. Like so. And then I can just go in and clean this up. See, it's a lot of dust, and I want to breathe all that. Cool. Um, there we go. There's our cut eye. Looking pretty good right there. And then I can blast it with a little bit of air. And see how we did. Not bad. So let's do that with the other eye. Good to go. So the next step, the next thing we want to do is to cut out the top of the head here. This whole part here, Star-Lord's uh, luxurious hair flows out of. So we need to remove this part of the casting. Now to do that, I have a couple of bits here. This one is the normal cutoff wheel that you get with every rotary tool set. Uh, this is really good for like grinding away metal, actually sharpening metal, it's quite good. The problem is that it's quite brittle and I'll showcase that in just a moment. Uh, this is, I believe, fiberglass. This is a little more robust. It is less likely to shatter when you're using it. You can also get um, like little buzzsaw looking things. 
Um, I'll link to all of these in the description, of course, but uh, you can get those little buzzsaw things, and uh, those are amazing. I just don't have any, so those are some options. So first, I'll show you how this thing works, and I want to show you what can go wrong. So, got our little rotary tool. Put this guy in there. And again, this will work just fine, but it might blow up. <laughs> so I have, actually, I have, ah, I have a safety mask here, a blast shield. So I'm gonna throw that on, like that. Okay, can you all hear me just fine? And this can do the cutting. And I'm gonna, uh, let's, let's do this so that we can hear me. Um, I'm gonna cut not right on the edge. I'm gonna cut in a little bit so that I have some room to play so I don't accidentally go into the, the good part. So I'm gonna do a quick cut here and I'll show you, show you what can go wrong. Shields up. Oh, also, dust mask. Dust mask on. Okay, that is working just fine. It's cut all the way through, no muss, no fuss. But if you're working with one of these cutoff wheels and you twist it a little bit while you're cutting, it can break. So I'm gonna do that on purpose now just to show you guys. Here we go. There we go. So that's what can happen uh, if you get a little rambunctious. So if all you have are those cutting wheels, that's fine. Uh, just be safe and know that uh, if you twist it at all, it'll break. Actually, let's try that again. Let's see if I can get that in slow mo. We're gonna do one more. Do that one more time. All right, cutting bit exploded. That was very exciting and everything, but I'm gonna use this other bit here, much less likely to explode. Again, if I had one of those saw blades, I would use that, but this one, this will do just nicely. Wow, that is having a lot of trouble. It's having a little bit of trouble with this job. It is cutting through like a quarter inch of material. So I may just go take this over to the Fordham real quick, the super high powered one, and, and cut out the rest of this. So this is the Fordham rotary tool. It's connected to a big motor up there and a foot pedal. It's got drastically more torque than that little battery powered guy. So that's what I'm gonna use to cut this out the rest of the way. And of course I have a dust mask and eye protection. Just about through. This corner is not through. Cool. And then, just like this. Ha ha! So, the cut edge uh, is doing good, but uh, I gotta sand this nice and smooth. Now, for the sake of, uh, not making a huge mess, I got my shop back here so that I suck up most of the dust. So, something I probably should have done before, but I still have my dust mask. Good, but we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Alright, this thing keeps uh, it's got a little battery thing, 
and it seems like it's dead. So even though I've had it plugged into that base station there, it seems to be uh, not uh, fully charged. So it keeps stopping on me. So maybe this thing isn't meant for this type of work. <laughs> so the, this thing is just, it's dying on me. The battery thing is like, ah. So I might have to run over to the, uh, the rotary tool again. So, yeah. Let's, let's see here. Yeah. All right. That thing's not working as well, but, but you could go on manual and use a file like this. Once I get most of this done, I'll probably go over this with a file to clean it up anyway. Um, but I'm just gonna go to, again, take this over to the Fordham and really hog out the rest of this material. But you guys don't need to see any of that. I'm just using the sander to clean up that edge. The next step to cleaning up these edges here is to use some files. So I've got this big fella here to do a lot of the bigger work, really just knocking back any of the sort of not smooth bits. And then I have some smaller files. I have this little round one here, and I have this flat one here, especially to clean up these corners to get a nice uh, clean edge there because that's very difficult to do with your rotary tool. So I'm doing it with these files. I just go in to the corner a little bit each, and then this one's smaller and finer for more fine detail and control. You can really go in and get some fine control. This part here, this indent here, again, really difficult to do with the rotary tool, but if I come in with my file, I can carefully and gently cut in that little bit of uh, detail. Like that. And that looks pretty good. So once I'm happy with all that, I can go over it with sandpaper. I have these little sanding twigs that are really, really awesome uh, to kind of do a bit of the final shaping and smoothing. And then I'll probably go everything over everything again with this, like some 220, until I'm happy with it. And also until it's comfortable, I'll put this on my head and see if it see if it fits well and see if it pokes pokes my head anywhere and then I'll I'll fix that up. So I'm just gonna keep working around this edge here with my files and my sanding twigs until I, you know, until I'm happy with it. But again, I'm not gonna show you all that because it's super boring. Yeah. Here we go. This is looking nice and smooth. I went over and sanded all that. I'm gonna take a break from the helmet for just a little bit and work on these tubes. These tubes here are uh, additions to the old Star Lord helmet. And when they were cast, they had these little pouring sprues on there. So I can just take this little saw, trim most of that away, like that, and throw that away. And then take a file or sandpaper or whatever and just kind of round the end of this over. Oh. It doesn't have to be really pretty. This is gonna get glued in. Like that. This particular tube goes there and there. And there is this cheek thing that goes there. So it will go like that. Like that. That'll all get glued together. Uh, I'll probably wait until it's painted to glue those pieces together. Now on this, the mold had a seam down the side of it. So there's a little bit of a, of a seam from the casting. I can just go over that with my little file, clean that up till it looks all pretty. So I'll do that with the rest of these little tubes that kind of go all over the old helmet there in different places. Um, just get these all cleaned up. A little more sanding. A little more sanding. Made some progress here. Uh, these tubes here are all sanded and just about ready to go. So the seam on this was kind of janky and I filled it with this acrylic acryl green spot putty stuff. Good to go. Once that's dry, I'll sand it down. Um, the tubes, these go on the cheek here, and there are some a couple of air bubbles from the way it was cast, 
and those will get filled in. But they're a little bit big for this spot putty, so I'm gonna fill it in with super glue and baby powder. Yeah. There's some tiny little air bubbles in there. So those that's what we're filling in right now. So I have baby powder here. That goes on a little piece of tape. And I have super glue. That goes in there. Like that. And I use this little little spatula tool to mix it together. You can use an X-Acto knife, you could use a popsicle stick, whatever you got. This gets all mixed together to make a nice paste. There we go. And then that paste can be used to fill in those little air bubbles. Like that. And then there's some on the top here. just like so. And then if I want to set it right away, I can use this InstaSet stuff here to just spray it and that'll cure right away. So there you go. That's how you fill with the baby powder and super glue. We've got a bunch more in this guy. I'll go fill all those in. Then all I have to do is sand it flush, just like with this piece right here. In this case, I'm gonna use just some 400 or yeah, 400 grit sandpaper and just sand it all flush until everything's nice and smooth. So same thing, just with the baby powder, except this stuff, the baby powder dries right away. In fact, since I sprayed it, I could probably go over it with a file. Let's grab this guy here. It's already rock solid. Sand it down. Nice and smooth. Like that. Been doing more filling and sanding. There's some green spots there where that green spot putty has gone in and filled that in. So these are getting just about ready for priming. So that's great. Uh, also, I recharged my little sanding tool. It claims that it's fully charged with, with the lights and everything. Uh, and the last bit of cleanup on the helmet I need to do is the inner edge here. So this just needs to get sanded a little bit. Got my safety squints, put those on. And then I'm just gonna go around and sand this edge nice and smooth. The main reason for this, well, other than looking pretty, but also this runs against my ears when I put it on and I don't want it to be sharp. looking pretty good nice and smooth now there are some thin spots on here and uh, let's see here there's a little bit of a thin spot there that guy uh, and then this uh, where was it this pot part actually split right there there's a split right there I'm gonna have to fix that and uh, there's a split there not too worried about that one because there's another piece that's going to go on there. But I think I'm probably going to have to go in and fiberglass the inside of this just to make it a little more rigid. It's, it's a little thin, especially down on the bottom. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep going and cleaning up this edge here. Uh, and then this part here should not be so square. So I think I'm going to heat gun that and try and bend it back to shape. So we'll try that next once I get all the... Uh, all the sanding done around the edge. Okay, helmet. Test time. It's still gonna be a little snug, I'm sure of it. But, it does fit on my helmet, or on my, my head. That's good. Uh, there'll be padding on it, so it'll stay up a little bit. All right, so that's doing okay. And I did not cut the crap out of my ears. Ow. Don't speak too soon. So this inside edge, we'll just round, sort of smooth that over a little bit there. It should be okay. And uh, I think I'm gonna heat gun and 
fix this part here a little bit. Uh, and then while I'm at it, I may flare these out a touch. Just because that's where these parts here are kind of running against my ears. So we'll see what we can do. Like the whole thing maybe pulled out a bit. So actually, let's do that right now. So I'll start. This is pretty thin. And you can heat gun this uh, urethane plastic. And then should be able to form it by hand. You can see inside of there. Uh, can you? There, that gray part is a little bit thinner. It just only got one or two layers on there, so it's kind of thin. Which is why it's it warped. Because this was sitting on a shelf like that for about two years. So I should be able to heat this up and then just form it back to the more rounded shape. Oh yeah. I'm wondering if it's supposed to have a little bit of a... Like it's not supposed to be perfectly round. But I do know that if I want it to fit on my head, that I need, I need this to be rounded out a bit more. And I'm definitely going to... Uh, reinforce this with some probably just some fiberglass so that's a little bit better it's flared out a little a little bit like like that that worked out okay that little spot right there once I backfill this with fiberglass I can bond to that or fill that in in some way right there so that should be fine um, yeah, that worked out really, really great. As this cools then, I can just kind of keep pressing it and forming it until I'm happy with it. And I think that's pretty good. Let's try and put it on my head again. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's just like that. Cool. So there's that. Definitely need to just smooth this part out a little bit more. Oh, I wanted to flare, I want to flare these out a little bit. I'll do one side at a time. <clears throat> this is a little bit thicker, so it's gonna have to get a little bit warmer before you can do some appreciable permanent change to it. And then I'm going to fiberglass the hole inside of this thing. At least at least around the inner this lower part here I think is all going to get fiberglass. The top is very rigid. But um the the fiberglass will keep any of this from uh wanting to spring back. Oh yeah, that is very pliable now, and I can slowly and carefully uh, just mash it out a little bit so that it doesn't scrape my ears every time I put it on. Got to be careful; I can't do too much. I have to; other parts have to go on here, so I don't want to change it too much so that they don't fit anymore. But that's a little bit. And once it cools down, it should hold that shape. Cool. There is Star Lord, and it's uh, pr pretty happy with how it's turning out. It fits on my head. That's what's important, and uh, I'm gonna call it good for today. It's still plenty of work left to do. Uh, I will be working on this on the next live stream. That'll be next week on Tuesday at noon Pacific. So be sure to tune in if you want to watch me work on this live. In between now and then, though, I'm gonna do a little bit more work. The main thing is I'm going to sand the inside of this here and do a little bit of fiberglass work. I'll lay down some uh, epoxy coat, I'll put in some fiberglass cloth, and then I'll back that in epoxy mite to make it laminated and nice and strong. Mostly just because this is still very, very floppy. So I'm gonna do that and I may do some surface prep and priming uh, that would just be like scuffing this up with some steel wool like this, uh, just like I did with the rest of these parts here. 
and then uh, just hitting it with some spray paint primer so that next week I can do some painting. So be sure to tune in for that. Again, that's over at twitch.tv slash punish props if you want to join us live every week. We also do our live Q&A every week on Thursdays at 5 Pacific. So again, it's worth following us on Twitch. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the work on this so far. It's going to be a lot of fun putting this together uh, over the next couple of weeks. So uh, join us, won't you? All right, that's all for today. Thank you, and we'll see you all in the next build. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.